Hello folks, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and to the channel today. Now, I know that many of you are probably going to be away actually playing the game for yourself since it has officially been released, but I still want to make progress too, so if you can join me, then fantastic. And if you are busy yourself in Rebirth, then I think we can understand. <laughs> but good to see you guys. We're going to be picking up where we left off last night, which is just in the grasslands, completing some of the side quest content. And then we're going to be moving through the marshes and maybe have an encounter with a giant snake. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, welcome guys. Just checking up on your messages in chat. But let's get started, shall we? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Enjoy the stream. Okay, so Dark Swordsman, if you are still streaming after my stream, I will definitely try and remember to link the streams as we've done before. And hey, good to see you, Logan. How are you doing? Oh, uh, yeah. Hopefully, when the summer starts to come in, Red Mario, that will be better for you with your various headaches that you're suffering with right now. Have the doctors got any more answers for you? Let's go down to here. It seems we have marked. Oh, that's right. It's to boost titan isn't it no we couldn't do it couldn't access it could we i remember it's all coming back to me now i'm instead i wonder how we get there it looks like there's a bridge of some kind here so we'd have to go through the marsh yeah when we access the marsh we might take a detour to try and do that okay for now let's head over to the tower here and start getting this side quest done All right, Martin. No worries. Yeah, let us know how you get on. So, without any spoilers, folks, if you've been playing the game for yourself now, what chapter have you got up to? Because I'm still in chapter two. There's so much side quest and stuff to do that I've got a feeling we're not going to be getting through this one anytime soon. <laughs> As in getting, like, to the end of the game. Oh, you've got to get really precise with the chocobo, haven't you, on these treasure hunts? Which is understandable. Yeah, we'll go and activate the tower. That should actually put a couple more points of interest on the map as well. Oh, we're right here. How that was a first strike, I have no idea. Right, something I want to do after battle is add our weapons fire thingy ability, I can't remember what it's called, to the shortcuts list. Because I keep meaning to do that and then completely forgetting. So I'll do that right now before we do anything else. And if I can remember how to do so, that is. Uh... Nope, it's not there, I don't think. Combat settings. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll add it, add it onto that specific shortcut there. It is called Firebolt Blade. It's quite powerful, actually. It's a nice ability to use. And it comes with the weapon we've got equipped, which I found in a treasure chest, the Sleek Saber. Ah, okay, Kyle, yeah. Yeah, the flashback does take a little bit of time. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate that on YouTube. Uh, just check the bottom of the tower first, because sometimes the thing can be right there, but it isn't. Yeah, Kevin, it's an interesting question, actually. Something I've been thinking of myself. You know... How Final Fantasy VII Remake and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth are somewhat unique, aren't they, from one another? Now, of course, this definitely feels like a continuation of Remake. But in terms of the fact that we're getting this full open world experience, it makes me wonder, yeah, just what is the third entry in the game going to do to wow us all? Is it going to be story driven like Remake? 
But if it's going to be open world again, then aren't we just going to be exploring the same places that we've already explored here in Rebirth? So, yeah, it's an interesting uh, dilemma, I think, that Square have got to resolve. I'm sure they have by now and are already working on it. But I wonder how that, uh, that is actually going to play out for us. And plus, I suppose there's the fact that I've only actually played up to Chapter 4 myself in Rebirth, so I don't know what's to come. Maybe there will still be plenty of the world left for Part 3 that we haven't yet seen in Rebirth by the end of it. And as such, perhaps there's still going to be, uh, you know, another open world experience and a lot more for us to, to get involved in that we don't know about yet. So the quest is over there, although should I do the combat encounter? Now I'll leave that. Yeah, I'll do it. It's close by, so may as well. I do want to do some of the quests, though, the actual green side quests. Okay, for this we need to pressure, stagger, and defeat uh, wolves. I think they're probably going to be weak or vulnerable to fire. So we'll go for the assess. Okay, that's interesting. Ooh, that's interesting. Inflicting detrimental status effects on them will pressure them. I don't know if I have detrimental status effects. So I'm going to have to figure this one out. I mean, they certainly inflict them onto me. Um... I wonder if there's any synergy abilities we've got that might do that. Yep. Yeah. Let's switch to Barrett, see if he can do anything. Otherwise, I'm probably going to have to go back to the menu. See what we're dealing with. Any items we can use that would help? No. Okay, I'm going to see if it will let us, yeah, retry. Now, should be able to access the menu here. Hey, shark guy. They haven't finished the game. Mind you, I suppose if you stick to just the story, you can get it done, I think, in about 15, 20 hours. Um, but if you want to do everything as I'm doing, then, yeah, it's going to take a fair bit longer. Um... Oh, I'm trying to think. Maybe Red 13 can do something or Aerith. Soul Drain and Sorcerer Storm. Soul Drain absorbs MP, but that won't count. Uh, red. Leap into the air, punishing blow. Yeah. No. Um. And in terms of materia, let's just have a... A gander there. If not, we'll have to come back to this one once we've got a more reliable way of inflicting status ailments. I'll be honest, you know, Kevin, that hasn't bothered me all that much. Even if it did, if it gave you that choice, I would probably have chosen not to anyway because there'd be no sense of progression then, would there, really? You'd just be powerful right from the get-go. Since it would have to also be balanced for um, players that didn't play the first game. Ah, we've got Poison. So hopefully this will do it. Uh, who should I give it to? Yeah, I'll give it to Barrett for now. Okay, hopefully. That should be all we need to do. Hopefully. Oh, we could do with a heal up actually. Oh, I'll just go into the fight. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. So we should be able to pressure an enemy this way. As long as they're not sort of like resistant to poison in particular. Let's see. Yes, we got it. Poison works there. Perfect. And there's the stagger. So now we just need to defeat them. That wasn't too bad in the end. As long as we killed them without getting destroyed here.
Come on, come on, come on. Okay, last one. Probably go for the same technique here, even though we don't need to. <coughs> I'll get that one pressured. For some reason, we... Oh, yeah, it just has a bit of a delay. We could summon, actually. Shall we, for a laugh, since it doesn't carry over? Why not? Hello, Pokemon. How you doing? That's an interesting point, Sean. Yes, so it would be the same world, but different. Like a more depressed version of it. Yeah. Could be. That's actually quite something that they would do. Yeah, good point. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Another Fiend Intel completed. Yeah, it's a huge game, isn't it, Fenor? But you're in the home stretch now if you're installing it. That was a very impressive battle just now. Okay, Kevin, yeah. Maybe. I'm not sure, mister. There's only one enemy skill material as far as I know. I'm not sure what enemy skills we're going to be able to get. I've only got one so far. I'm um, level 19 already, so that's good. Uh, okay, let's head back over to... Well, we'll just go to the Chocobo farm since I know there's a rest place there. Then we'll teleport back to where we were. And we'll keep pushing on. I know that you can go to the Chocobo stops to rest up, but... you got to spend consumable item called Cushing to do that. Hello, Adstar. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, that's right, isn't it, Red Mario? Yeah, good point. I doubt you could do it here anyway. Oh, he does give you a second, does he, John? That's interesting. Do you get the enemy skills you've already got on the first? I guess you do, don't you? Because of the way you unlock them in this game. You don't get them directly from enemies. You get them as rewards for the Chadley missions. Oh, that's good, Ben. Exciting stuff. Oh, don't tell me we've got to go up there because I'm not going to be able to reach it. What am I doing? I'm going to the wrong place. That's what I'm doing. I'm such an idiot. I'm going back to Calm. I don't want to be going to Calm. Hey, Welsh Rabbit. Up nice and early. <laughs> Right, it's so over here. We go into the orange marker. Okay, is this the one where we've got to repair the pipeline from Midgar? Yeah, it's huge, isn't it, Mr. G? Oh, we've got a life spring as well. Should we grab that first? May as well, since we are here. Where's it gone? You gotta watch those birds. Okay, let's try and stay with it this time. Okay, down here and around, is it? Oh, just grab these. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure how many live springs there are in each region, but we've done a few now in the grasslands. Yes, Fenor, I have got Titan, and I think most chapters, while you are exploring the world, are going to be like that. Cloud, that data has revealed an intriguing sight. 
I think you just level up your weapons, Sean. And you should get abilities then as you do so. Oh, another combat. Fun. I'll be honest, out of all the side quests, the um, combat assignment's probably my least favourite at the minute. Even though I enjoy combat in this game, trying to get all of the objectives can be a bit frustrating at times. Okay, we've actually got the fast travel now that we've been to the pipeline. So let's just knock out a few of these other places. There's also an intel to boost um, Titan's power, so let's do that as well. It's so easy to get distracted, isn't it? What's this? Classified foes. Once a specific number of life springs have been surveyed, the location of an especially powerful fiend will be revealed. Okay. Maybe we should save before getting stuck in here. Oh, great. This sounds tough. And I have no idea as to... What sort of weaknesses it's going to have. Possibly wind. Hiya, Bobbo. Oh, sorry to hear that, mate. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, that sucks when that happens. Get the fever. Um, I'll keep... Yeah, let's try wind. Yeah, that's fine. And how many wind do I have? Just the one. Okay. I don't think it's going to be susceptible to bio, is it? It might be. Let's see. Okay, so this could be a very tough fight from what I'm hearing. At least from the in-game uh, prompts. Yep, it's a boss enemy. Quetzalcoatl. And it's level 22 as well, so it's a little bit higher than we are. Right, let's go ahead and assess. Okay, it's actually weak to ice. I should have kept ice equipped. Okay. I think Tifa's got ice. I think this is the Airbuster theme, you know. I know it's the boss theme, but I think it's the Airbuster variant from Remake. Ouch. Um, Sonic Boom. Does this do? Oh, it just does wind. But it does cast bravery and faith as well. So who knows? It could help. Should I do cure? Yeah. Well, we are making some progress, at least. Maybe not a huge amount, but some. That sounds nasty. Let's move. Yeah, that was pretty nasty. Whew. Long ability as well. And this is why we have Barrett. Let's go for Steel Skin. Okay, it's almost... Almost uh, staggered. There we go. Uh, what should I do? Let's go to Cloud. Mm, we're not doing a huge amount of damage, are we? With the stagger there. We did some, but not a lot. Right. Let's cure her. We're going to have to watch out for Barrett's MP here on Tifa. And now on Cloud. 
Oh, we've got a synergy ability. Let's go for it. Okay, we can also summon, so let's do that. So we'll bring Titan into the fray. Have fun. Yeah, it has, hasn't it, Dark Swords? I mean, have you fought this yet, by any chance? This is my first time battling Quetzalcoatl. Right, we're going to need to heal. Oh, we've got free healing at the minute. Let's make the most of that. Oh, I think it's finished. That was not going to last very long, was it? Let's move from that nasty sounding ability. <coughs> Thank you for the healing there, Barrett. Ah! I need some more in a minute. Um... Oh, we've only got Mountain Crusher. We've not got a 280 B ability right now with Titan because we need to level him up more. Let's use some of these synergy abilities that we've got. Right, this is the nasty ability, this one. Got to be careful about this. Okay, heal again. Running out of MP. That's not good. Got to be careful. We're getting limit breaks, so I want to try and save those for a stagger, maybe. Pump the extra damage. This is normal mode, Twisted Media. It's just a pretty tough boss. <laughs> Uh, let's go for focus shot. Oh, come on. How did that not stagger it? Nearly there, nearly there. There we go. Right. Limit. We'll do clouds limit next. And we'll do Tifa's limit as well. We got it, we got it. Limits for the win, it seems, at the end. And it boosted our enemy skill materia as well. Oh, I think it just leveled it up, actually. It didn't give us a new materia because that only comes from Chadley. Hello, Joshua. I don't think so, Fenor, that I know of, no. You have to just put up with that. To be honest, I haven't noticed that. I've been so focused on the fight. Ah, okay, Dark Swordsman. Now then, allow me to congratulate you on your victory over that beast. And thank you for the valuable biological data. You were likewise able to obtain something of great import. The beast's talent. I suspect that it can be used in the creation of something astounding. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Triple limit break action there. Um, and we got a reward that can be used for something in item creation, Chadley just told us. So yeah, that was probably one of the toughest fights so far. For now, we could go and grab the Divine Intel while we're close by. And then we'll head over to the pipeline. I just want to check the enemy skill to see what it actually did. I don't think we gained an enemy skill though. I just saw the message about it, briefly. Yeah, it actually just leveled up the enemy skill materia, so now it boosts HP by 5%. Still only the one enemy skill, though. Yeah, I have noticed that, Edward. I don't know if we'll be able to get to this. Looks like it's shrouded by mountains, but we'll see. Yeah, she does seem to uh, share a few 
a few words of wisdom all through the combat. <laughs> but like I said, I haven't really noticed her. I've been so focused, especially in that last fight. But I can definitely see how she'd get annoying. Right, here's one of the crystals for the divine intel. So this is going to show us the way, is it? Right, another one down here. There's the next one. Oh, hang on. Chocobo treasure. Oh, wrong button. Come on, Fuzz. Sort yourself out. Oh, was it was here, wasn't it? Yeah. Where's the uh, crystal stuff gone? Maybe it's this way we're supposed to be going. Right, so there's one. Oh, yeah, we can destroy them. I forgot. Completely forgot about that. They show us where to go then. There we go. Okay, so we've got this mini game. Slightly harder than the live spring ones, but should get it in a in an attempt or two, really. Okay, square, 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 square. So just past three. Then it looks like four, just before six, and then just before seven. I think we did it. Yes, they are, Fenor. I've been using them. They are helpful, the command shortcuts. Okay, that will boost Titan to the next level. Yeah, I'm not sure how the Fort Condor minigame or location is going to be in Rebirth. So I've been avoiding spoilers as much as possible. I guess we'll find out together. So if we look at the Titan Materia now, because we've just leveled it up. You can see that we have it on level 3 now. It starts on level 1. We got it to level 2 with the first Divine Intel Crystal. And now with the second we've got it to level 3. So we just need to get another Crystal which I do know where it is, we just can't access it yet. But I think when we go through the marsh, we'll be able to. It's just over here, see? Okay, but now let's teleport over to the side quest that we want to do. We are making our way through all of the side content here, aren't we? In the grasslands, that's for sure. This the warehouse the mayor was so there should be another mercenary here that the car mayor has hired to fix the pipeline or to get the materials. Hi, Tina. Your turf. Don't tell me you're the merc the mayor hired. Tyrion doesn't work for free or cheap. <laughs> How either of you get any work is a mystery to me. <laughs> We're here on behalf of the mayor. Man wants a progress report. Yes, progress is what I've been making. And I'm just dying to tell him all about it. But the thing is. I haven't actually, like, done anything. I need more parts. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if we looked for them together? Hell no. I could really use a guiding hand from a vet in the industry. Like you! I swear I'll do anything! Anything? Fine. I'll help. If you stop calling yourself a merc. You, sir, have a deal. 
Yeah, Fino, um, I got Titan from Chadley. It's a combat that's available as soon as you gain access to Chadley in this game. And you saw the divine intel I just got. Every one of those you get, there's three in total, weakens Titan in the combat simulator and also strengthens the material you get you get when you defeat him in the combat simulator. So I did one of the divine intels, which weakened him by one power level. I was able to defeat him after doing that. Oh, thank you, Tina. Okay, so we've got to hunt down the materials now. Which are probably going to be kind of annoying. But that's fine. At least we can teleport back here when we are done. Right, there's one just over here. Okay, try and navigate around the pipeline here. Oh, the chocobos get stuck on all the flipping precipices and cliffs and ledges. It's annoying. Okay. Can we stay on the chocobo while we loot this thing? Yes, I think so. Yep. Yeah. Well, that will save some time. And the last but not least is just over here. Oh, that was an enemy, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, let's try and get away from that for now. Just down here, where the enemy is, lovely. Oh, I've got both on there at the minute, John. But yeah, I do like the Firebolt Blade. I've been using it quite a bit. I don't know, Red. Chuck a buckle is just a pointless enemy skill, really. It's too impractical to farm to make it useful. In the Japanese version, yeah, it was good. But in the Western release, it sucks. So we're now going to have to repair the pipe. And undoubtedly there's going to be some enemies. So let's just check how we are on HP. Not too good at the minute. Which makes me think we should probably heal up. Hey, fantastic, Fiendor. You're all good to go now, yeah? Grandma didn't send you out here to find me, did she? Because if she did, I'm not going back. I'm sick of her treating me like a little kid. Come on, Chucko. Let's beat her there. Right, here's the pipe, and there's the damage. Oh, don't tell me we can't actually go faster than she can, otherwise we're going to have to go back and get her to start moving again. Yep, yeah, it looks that way.
Are we going anywhere? Why is she just standing there? Can't speak to her. Okay, don't do what I did, guys. Let's try fast. Hang on, I heard her talking. Nope, she's stuck. I'm going to uh, fast travel, I think, and then we'll hopefully get her moving again. Oh, is it the enemies? She won't run past the enemies. That could be it, yeah. I raced off ahead, thinking I'd save some time. Ended up wasting a load of it. I've used it once, Fenor, as part of a quest. Thing is, I got to the pipe without using, without having to fight enemies, so she should be able to too. Yeah, it might not have been bugged. It might have been these enemies stopping her. Yeah, there we go. We're off again. Thanks for the call out there, Logan. Good point. I don't think so, Red Mario. They certainly don't have an enemy skill because you can only get those as a reward from the combat simulator. Um, I have got to go out this evening, Twisted, so I'm going to try and get another stream in if I can later, but it's probably only going to be a shorter one. Okay, that was a weakness, so that's good. Uh, we do need to assess, since I think this is kind of a unique enemy. Yeah, weakness to fire. She is, yes, she's cured now. Just had to defeat those enemies, didn't we, that were blocking the path. Yes, you had to, to get Chocobo, you had to cast level 4 Suicide, having learned it from a Moo, on a level 16 Chocobo, Red Mario. And here we go again. <laughs> here comes the stagger. Lovely stuff. Nice. What are we gonna do about the kid? Nothing. Forget her. Repairs are done. Let's go see Fritz. Okay. So we're gonna head over here now to the next side quest. There's three to do in this region, I think, from calm. I'll just see if there's any discounted goods as well whilst we are here. Oh, we can actually level up our folios as well. I haven't checked that for a while, have I? A hunter's bangle. 
We'll get it for 500 gil. Looks like it's an upgrade. We'll come back to the item transmute in a moment too. Um... Yeah, I'll give it to Barrett since he's usually in my party. Right, and now we'll have a look at the folios, get them leveled up, which might take a minute or two. Sorry, guys. Come on. Right, level two unlocked. And we've got 25 skill points, although the cost of these does increase. So even though the first ones have been five, they're not all going to be five skill points to learn. Uh, ice magic without spending MP. I like it. Yep, yeah, let's go for that. That gives us 15 left. That's level 3, so we can't get it yet. Oh, we haven't got enough SP for those. Yeah, and that does require level 3. Okay, but we'll leave Cloud there. Um, yeah, let's just go for Ice Magic, whatever. We're going to get everything eventually, aren't we? So. May as well just spam it all. Uh, who's this? Barrett. Okay, we'll grab this. Oh, she's got level 3 as well. And finally, last but not least. It's a bit like the Crystarium, this, isn't it? Do you remember from Final Fantasy 13? This skill tree. And now let's do the quest. Shinra hasn't got you yet. Seeing as you're here, mind help me with something? I'm Oliver, by the way, owner of this farm. Got fiend trouble. Every night it comes after my livestock. At least I assume a fiend's to blame. Think you could find and deal with it? Okay. Appreciate it. That's your dog there? <laughs> I don't. But he might. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Ah, oh, poor Nanaki. <laughs> Everyone thinks he's our pet. Hey, you know, your pup might be able to track the fiend scent. Maybe try sniffing around the scene of the crime. been several days since the attack, so the scent isn't fresh. Other animals have come and gone as well. This won't be easy. Hmm. Think a chocobo could handle it? Hmm. Their sense of smell is indeed impressive, but this trail is still quite poor. Though if you wish to try, I won't stop you. Probably to make you buy the guide bed. Because you wouldn't guess to do that otherwise, would you? He's got something. What? 
They probably wanted to make guide sales from the official book thing. You want to track it from here on out? No, the Chocobo has led us this far after all. There's definitely some variety in the side content, isn't there, at least? It's not all the same. There was a struggle here not long ago. I can help guide the bird. Ensure it doesn't stray. No, there were some errors in the official Final Fantasy VII guide, but I'll tell you something, it's nowhere near as bad as the Final Fantasy IX. Um, guide that thing was horrendous like the worst strategy guide ever released for any video game ever official strategy guide okay, looks like we're about here now yep If I remember Red Mario, the official FF7 PlayStation guide didn't have a whole lot of information on Chocobo breeding, did it? FF9 had stuff purposefully left out in order to make you go onto their website, which is now shut down, by the way, so... Oh, I need to assess the White Terror. Okay, no weaknesses. If we want to pressure it, we have to deal damage and block its attacks. Ouch, ouch. Don't you think it's weird what you other characters just sort of like chill out and not really get involved as in like the, those that aren't in the active party they do do a few things from range they don't actually do any damage or anything um need to try and get this thing pressured That's actually quite challenging. Ouch. Very ouch. That was nasty. I think once we get it staggered, we'll be okay then, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, this is the really nasty attack. Right, cure up. Oh, I can't do that. Let's get it staggered, please. There we go. Alright, limits. Limits. And we've got it. Ooh, that was kind of tough. Hello, boy of kings. Welcome back to the stream. You doing alright? What? It's my sense of smell. Since my imprisonment in the Shinra building, it hasn't been the same. Before, I wouldn't have had any trouble tracking that scent. Now, though... <coughs> hm. 
Perhaps this bird is willing to take on an apprentice. Okay, at least we can head back and heal up now. Or before we do, oh, thing is that's tough. We'll come back to that. It's quite a tough fight there, if I remember, for my first playthrough. Yeah, Dark. The first playthrough is going to take you 90 hours. Then you got to do it on hard mode, haven't you? Yeah, it's going to be annoying. Ah, nice one. Yeah, I'm doing good, thanks. You'll be singing a different tune when you see what I got for you. Here. Maybe they want to keep us busy, Dark Swordsman, and until the third game drops four years later. I heard Rose not feeling so hot. If you swing by calm again, mind checking on him? Okay, what have we got left now in terms of these green quests? We need to head back to Calm, really, in order to crack on with them. Also, I want to see what that Owl Bracer was we just looted. It could be a bit of an upgrade. Yeah, it is. A nice boost to stats there. We'll give that to Tifa, I think. Oh, what level am I? Level 20. So we've gained five levels since we started the game. And what's the next quest that we need to do here? Oh, it's a... Oh, here it is. I don't know what this one is. I don't think I've done this one before. Where the wind blows. We heard that you've been feeling under the weather lately. Word gets around fast. Didn't expect you to worry about me. But since you're here, can I ask you a favor? A friend of mine wanted me to help her fix one of the old Republic windmills, but I'm at no condition to do that. Do you think you could instead? I think we should help. If not for him, we'd probably be back in Hojo's lab. Friend's name is Mildred. You should be able to find her somewhere around the old settlement, out on the cliffside. Look for the windmills. Security forces performed a thorough sweep of the town, during which time it was placed under a temporary lockdown, which has since been lifted as of this report. The suspects remained at large, though public security. Okay, what are we doing? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, heading over. Oh no, this is another quest. Okay. Let's go and speak to the mayor because we've fixed the pipeline. So that's one thing we can clear from our log. She told me how you helped with the pipeline repairs. Yeah, Fino. He should be public enemy number one here, shouldn't they? And not just on Shinra's list. Very destructive. I'm not sure. She left just as soon as I pay. For another job, perhaps. Guess that's what fame buys you. Plenty of work and never enough time in between. Sounds like you still got competition, Burke. Before you run off, she set this aside for you. Insisted that her fellow mercs be compensated. I'm pretty sure we'll be bumping into Kyrie again at some point through the game. For more side quest fun. Right, now how the heck do we get over here? Looks like we need to go down here. Yada yada, okay. I think this is a Queen's Blood quest. Down and up, maybe, yep. Yeah. I think it's got a reputation, hasn't it, Red 13? Red Mario, sorry, for um, being a little bit tougher than it actually ends up being. 
Would you agree with that? I think I came the long way around, to be honest with you, to get to this guy. <laughs> hey, um, we'll be meeting them, don't you worry, Fenor. Awesome. Just not here. Well, the official line is that they needed to do that in order to do the original justice. Obviously, ultimately, it's the business decision, isn't it? Selling three games is going to be more profitable than selling one, I'd assume. But yeah, officially, it's because they wanted to make sure that the original was fully... Well, it, that, that it had all that attention given to it, which couldn't have been done in a single game for a remake. Um, yeah, we'll just stick to our deck. I'll get rid of you and you. Uh, what have we got a level 3 for already? Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, we're going to lose a pawn here, I think. But I didn't really have any other choice. No, we're not. Okay. I guess we'll just take both of those then. We'll lose two now, but that should be okay. Yeah, this is only the first of two battles that we need to get through for this particular side quest. I'll put that down. That should be enough to win. Yep. Beat him on every row. So that's done. That's good. Whatever. I've only seen it in the trailer, Dark. I've not actually done it myself, so. The fact you've said that means that I'm not looking forward to it either now, though. <laughs> okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil, no problem. That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mine kicking his ass for me. Okay, so that was the practice. That was the warm-up. Okay, so that was the quickest way to get there. And that's where we've got to get to now. Question is, how do we reach that place? Oh, we go around here. Okay, new area of calm that we haven't yet explored. Up and around. And he's just over here. Got it. Oh, care for a match? Morning guys, are you? How you doing, mate? You've been playing. Ah, the card. So Vash has resorted to this. 
hiring people to win its games for it. Please, no Dark Swordsman. Please, no, not a perfect score. It can't be as bad, though, as the original FF7 version. I sucked at that. At the moment, Dennis, it's Remake and then Rebirth, which is what we're playing now, and the third game, which hasn't been released yet. Imagine it'll be a few years away. Uh, goodbye, goodbye. I need another one of these security officers. They're really powerful to start with. Hmm. Oh, he's going to take one. No, he's not. Okay. Fine. Be like that. Yeah, he can take that one, but he doesn't do so for some reason. That's bizarre. Okay, he's Scrooged. We've got him. Yeah, whatever. I don't think it really matters what we do at this point. Let's put that there. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, that's a two, is it? At least we've destroyed him first go. <laughs> he only got to place three cards. And this guy's supposed to be really good. Yep, yeah, it seems to be the best starting card at the moment, Fino, until we get something better. As it gives you a lot of options to play other cards afterwards. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that, Dennis, if it was. Yeah, if you can stop your opponent from playing cards as soon as possible, then that will do the trick every time, really. Oh, no, we've got to play another game, I've just remembered. So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously, I I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. Uh, and you've only Lawrence. just remembered. He this card shop outside of town. Maybe check with him. A merc's job is never done. Am I right? Where is he? That other fella then. Oh, okay. Bit of a, a journey away. But it shouldn't take long on our feathery friend. I'll leave that treasure for now. Really want to try and make some progress if we can today with the story as well. Right, we got the uh, fast travel now. Good stuff. Think there might be something around here. Treasure or something? Nope. 
sometimes you can get like treasure chests behind buildings, so it is worth just having a quick gander. Hey there. You folks buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo removal cart. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that view. At least not to some dabbler who fancies himself a Dark Swordsman, have you done any of the uh, Queen's Blood card game in Calm since that's where you are at the minute? Right, this should be the final card game we need to do for a little bit. <laughs> then bust out those cards, boy. Now, this is a level 3 player, so he's going to be a fair bit tough. It might take a few attempts. But I think we can actually purchase cards from him as well. We need to. Why would you play the security officer up there? Oh, I wish I had a level card where I could do that. That's annoying, man. I don't want to give him opportunity to take any of my squares. Ah, oh, he had a diagonal one. That's me. That's really me. That was uncalled for meanness. Nothing I can do about that, is there? I might have to restart this one. Yeah, I could play cards, but to no avail, it wouldn't accomplish anything. I'm going to see if we can purchase anything useful from him. Oh, okay, Doc. Only one way to get that choke. Let's see what we can buy. Anything to help us in this battle, maybe? Titan. Can I actually see what the card is? Or is he not going to show me? I can buy it, but I can't see the stats or anything. Really? Okay. I guess we want them anyway, don't we? So we'll just purchase them all. Then bust out those cards. Right, let's see how good the ones are we've just collected. We've now got cards with enfeebling abilities. Which can lower the power of other cards. Ah, we can actually destroy cards by reducing the power to zero. That's interesting. And we can even enfeeble our own cards to destroy them, which can activate powers that only work when in, when destroyed. Okay, I'll tell you what, the strategies are starting to um, increase a little bit, aren't they? Right, I don't really use the Queen Bee. So let's remove that. I don't really use that, so I'm going to remove it. I haven't used the magic pots. It's too high level for now, so I'm going to remove that. We got a riot trooper. That does give us options. Grenadier seems pretty useless. Uh, unless I'm missing something with that. Let's have a look at some of these legendaries that we've also picked up. Thank you for subbing, Dean. Thank you very much. We got Titan. Power 5, that is good. That's pretty good as well. Level 3, that's better than the magic pot, but... Hmm, this is interesting. Another level 3. So I wouldn't really get an opportunity to play it, I don't think. The fat chocobo. Okay, let's plonk some zoos down, because a couple of times I have needed to get the uh, diagonal and not had it. And this gets everything behind us, or behind where we play it. Hmm. 
Don't really like those sorts of cards that much. Oh, we've got one too many there. Okay, let's try that. Oh, I'm not sure what you mean, Isaiah Sae. Um, I'm in reach. Good to see you. How you doing? Let's mulligan three cards that are level two. And play our trusty security officer. Yeah, Levicon will be fine. If I can get a diagonal, that would be helpful. Oh, actually, it won't because I won't be level 2. Uh, in which case, we shall... Ignore that for now. Hmm. Hopefully he doesn't have a diagonal. He does. Ah! This isn't going good, I'm going to be honest with you guys. No, that's pointless. He'll just take another one. I think that's our only choice. Okay. Devil Rider's not great. That will at least capture one, but he'll probably take it back. Surprise, surprise. I oh, know he hasn't, okay. Hmm. Nope, that only captures cards from the back. Ouch. Oh, he can't play anything. Okay, well, we beat him on the top two rows, if that's the case. Oh, my, uh, he's going to draw in a moment, though. Then he will be able to play something. That should put us ahead here. Yeah, five over four. Okay, no, we should still be okay. We beat him on every row. Cool. Ah. Oh. oh, fantastic. I'm in rich. I haven't actually. I did get it downloaded at one point, but never actually played it because of time constraints that I had. But I would like to check it out for sure. Right, we've got the Moogle card, or the Chocobo Moogle. We've got to get back to the other guy. Okay, for now, let's just head back. Hand that in. A bit of an involved quest, that one, with the Queen's Blood cards. We had to get through three games. Oh, thank you, Mick. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. You did it. You got my baby back. Oh, you catch it. Yeah, lots of side quests and lots of mini games. How many I've lost? One this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here, it's probably better off. Until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off 
my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about <laughs> Yeah, happy birthday, Swag Lord. famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo <laughs> That's Tifa's drink, that is. Go on, drink up. Thanks. You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. A pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender. Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. Okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night with bells on. Promise. The suspect should remain at large, though public security is confident they will be apprehended soon. Local insurgents are believed to have played a role in their escape. The company will conduct a separate investigation to identify... Hello, Isaiah. I've missed what your message is about. Oh, that... Okay, I see what you're talking about. The purple tracker on stream, yeah? Yeah, I should probably put a title on that. That's just the Streamlabs. I don't know if you've used Streamlabs. Event history. It's not like a membership counter. It's based on the last one, two, three... The last four events that have happened. Okay. So when another event happens, somebody else signs up to membership or extends their membership or something like that, then it will kick the bottom one off and go on to the top. It's just the standard Streamlabs tracker. I haven't edited it at all. I don't know if there's a way to do it based on months. If there is, though, that would be um, amazing. I'll have to have a look at that. I haven't gone through the options for a while. But yeah, I think you'd definitely be near the top. <laughs> I'll have a look at that, because that's an interesting idea, actually. But at the moment, at least as the default setting, it's just in um, order of the last four events. Right. Oh, that's it. I keep forgetting how to bring up the region map. I think this is the final quest, apart from some of the other bits and bobs around the zone, like the intels and stuff. But in terms of side quests, I think this is the last for this region. Oh, Iman, thank you so much. Thank you. For your kind support. I don't think I've done this quest before on my first playthrough. So this will be a new adventure for us all. Come on. Where's the arrow? There it is. I don't know why I've got off the chocker, but we're actually not where we need to be yet, are we? Yeah, it's slightly annoying, in my opinion, if I can share a little bit of criticism, that the Chocobo riding is somewhat clunky, if I'm honest with you. Both due to the fact that it constantly gets stuck on all manner of obstacles, and also because I keep accidentally mounting it just by standing next to it and I'm trying to loot treasures and stuff, because you don't need to push a button to mount it, you just get close to it. Oh, that's awesome, Swag Lord. Thank you so much. That's high praise.
Down we go. Did Broden send you? I'm glad for the company. Ain't she a sight to behold? A relic of the Republic of Junon. Shinra can't make them like this, let me tell you. I'm itching to scrape the rust off, get her moving again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. Which is where you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. So, what do you want to know? Windmill's counting on you, friend. Okay. What's Chadley got to say for himself about this, eh? Uh, be of service. If you wish to learn more about the Republic of Junon, I recommend visiting Life Springs. The knowledge they contain will reveal the location of transmuter chips, as well as other points of interest. I hope that helps your search. Oh, okay. I have done a number of the Life Springs, so maybe. Maybe it's already going to have popped up somewhere for us. Yeah, possibly it has. I think it's this thing here. Question is, how do we get up this precipice? Um, well, this will be the closest fast travel. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to make our way up there somehow. And I have no idea how we get up there. Oh, we're already there. It seems that a transmuter chip is buried nearby. You should be able to sniff it out with the aid of a chocobo. Once you pinpoint its location, you can ask your bird to dig it up. With that, let the treasure hunt begin. Um, I don't know, Care Bears. The demo was the flashback sequence, wasn't it? Which is the start of the game. And then the Junon stuff, I think you were set to level 20. So I think it depends on how much side quest content you do to power up your party. Yeah, there we go. Uh, no, that's not a quest one, I don't think. But we'll get it anyway. Maybe it is. Come on, line up. Oh, it wasn't actually there, that's why. Come on. Is it me or does it just look like it's in the window, this thing? This is annoying. Yeah, it stops here. Unless it's just on the... Oh, hang on. We just found it now. Yeah, that was annoying. We can now transmute an enhanced copper bracer. Nice. Um, can I, I can't open up the map, so I guess we just have to run around until the chocobo shows us there's another treasure. Ah, here we go. Stop, stop, stop. That was a little easier. And now one more to go.
I understand the issue I was having on the first one now. The um, line, the objective line, doesn't go through walls. Okay, I guess we need to transmute the windmill gear. Bye-bye. You take care, mate. Enjoy your sushi dinner. Sounds lovely. I guess we need to make the item before we speak to her. What do you want to know? Windmills counting on your friend. Okay. Probably a key item, I'm guessing. Yep. Oh, we can't make it because we're lacking beast bones. How annoying. How annoying. Let's make the other stuff though, get some experience. The stuff we can make, and that's about it. Oh, we needed that Quetzalcoatl Talon that we looted earlier. Okay. I wonder if it tells us where we can get the materials from. It does. That's really helpful. Yeah, we need to maybe find Levricons or something. Not Levricons, the um, Alpha Dunks. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. Okay, I think it's time. Let's head over to the marsh, shall we? Yes, and the great thing is, Swag Lord, is you don't have to even... Do the side quest and that in the chapter you unlock them like you did have to in Remake. You can come back to them whenever you want. Yes, you can, Chicken Pot Pie. And it's time, guys. Let's start crossing the marsh, shall we? Oh, there's the Divine Intel. I can see it from here. I was trying to access it earlier without going into the marsh and we couldn't. So, are you sure this is safe? Heard pockets of the bog are damn near bottomless. Plus, there's that giant man eating serpent. Bill assured us the chocobos could handle it. Have some faith in our feathered friends. <coughs> Let's just grab this stuff, whatever it is. I'm looking for beast things. We need to climb up here. Perhaps we have him to thank for the rolling hills and verdant plains that comprise this region of the planet. Probably another half hour for today, mate. But I'm going to try and come back this evening as well to carry on so we can keep making progress here. Does that sound good? Right, oh, this is the final sanctuary for Titan. So the material will be at full power once we've done this little mini game. It's a secretive snake, Isaiah. You don't know where it is, do you? I think I got it. Yeah. Yeah, Midgar, Zolom or Soma, whatever it's called. It's definitely in this game. Okay, I don't want to give any spoilers as to when it's going to appear. But it's here. <laughs> 
probably be about half seven UK time, Boy of Kings. I'll put a pre-live thing up beforehand, though. A schedule thing on YouTube so that everybody who wants to can see when it's going to be. But I can't do that until a little bit after this stream is finished. Or it just bugs out. Oh, we could do this whilst we're here. No, maybe we couldn't. Don't think we can get out of here. Ah, let's leave that for now. And I'll just fast travel back to the start. Save climbing down, which takes an eon. And now it is time to start crossing the marsh. Heading over to the Mithril Mines. Let me just check my HP values. Nope, we're good. I should probably save. Did I save? Sounds good, Dark. Yes, when I finish streaming here, if you stay on the stream, it should kick you over automatically to Dark Swordsman. Is your stream active at the minute, Dark? Because I can connect to it now if it is, so that I don't forget to do it when I finish up. Oh, yes, Boy of Kings, the VODs will be up as always on YouTube. Oh, good tip there, Jordan. I don't have Elemental, though. So it's a good tip, but one I can't put into action. <laughs> So there's a chest, so we'll pick that up. Nice. I believe that is a weapon for our gun armed wielder. It is. Do need to give him an ability, however. Uh, staggering charge increases overcharge reload when staggering. Magic attack by 20. Okay, let's go for that, shall we? Since he does actually cast magic. I can't remember if I got the platinum for that game, Tom. But I did play the heck out of it. I don't see Sephiroth. Do you? No, I don't. Okay, Dark, I'll just have a quick look. Uh, edits. I'll try and remember how to do this. Redirect. Oh, yeah. I've got you. As long as that stream doesn't go down, we should be good. I've added it now. I'll turn the volume up since I love the uh, battle theme. That'd be me, that would. <laughs> the chocobos, I mean, not Barrett. <laughs> 
disguised itself as an island. Focus. Okay. This is quite a tough fight, just like in the original. So I'm going to try and stay at range as much as possible. Although I do need to assess. Um, okay, weakness to ice. Oh, I missed out on that. That's a shame. What spells does Barrett have? Don't think Bio will work. can't block against that so let's just try and avoid it how do you avoid that i couldn't get away anymore i love the way they give this the standard enemy battle theme just like in the original not a boss battle theme Skin. I know I'm not using the shortcuts right now. I'm doing that on purpose because I'm trying to think what I, you know, what it is I need to do. Right now we did get some abilities. I need ice that allow us to cast the element without using any MP. I think T forgot ice. It's now standing up. Oh, move, 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 move. Let's go to Barrett. I'll let the AI dodge that. Um, snow flurry, yes, that's what we want. This is how we can pressure it, you see. I should probably do bravery and faith as well. Okay, this is bad now. I think this is where it eats us. Right, there goes Tifa. Bye, Tifa. She's gone. And she's back. <laughs> Okay, get out of the water. I think that's what you need to do on this ability. Yes, took no damage then. You can't avoid it, but if you stand on the land, then you're safe. That bleep. Yay, subscriber, thank you. And now who's he going to eat? Let's have Tifa again. Oh no, he's doing something different this time. Taken 
Right, with Cloud, I think we should go ahead if I can get some ATB here and cast the ability that gives us bravery. It's an enemy skill. It's called Sonic Boom. And that will boost... I don't know if it's defences or attacks, but in either case, it's something we need. Oh, here comes Beta. And we're on low HP, which isn't good. Okay, Beta does no damage, apparently. It's more like a cinematic thing. I'm on the wrong character. I'm meant to be on Cloud. Pressured. Come on. Okay, the Cranium's damaged, so we should be able to kill it quite quickly now. We haven't staggered it at all, have we? We got it. We didn't even get a stagger. Is it gone? Yeah, did you see Red Mario? Is it happy to see that it did cast beta? Martin, you're using a physical copy, are you? And it's getting stuck at 58% every time you try and install it. I'm really sorry, Martin. To me, that sounds like a defective disc. If you had no, not enough space on your system, chances are it would tell you that even before it starts installing. At least that's my experience. If it's getting to 58% and then stopping, I'm really sorry. That sounds like a defective disc to me that you would need to get exchanged. That's a really random amount for any other reason. That sounds like a corrupted file or scratch or mark or an imperfection from the manufacturing of the disc. I'm not sure, Red Mario. Remember, we get enemy skills from Chadley in this version, so that's how we'll have to find out if it is or not. Where did you purchase it from, Martin? I'd ask them to exchange it, Martin, seriously. Just tell them that it's stopping at 58% every time and that it just... Sephiroth? That just reeks of a damage disc to me. I knew he was strong. So... Yes, yes, we do have game. Those guys are looking for him too. They've got to be. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling as well. Let's not lose him. We can now swim through the swamplands. Question. Why would I want to swim through those swamplands?
Um, I was hoping we was going to unlock a fast travel for here, but apparently not. Hopefully they'll sort it for you, Martin, without too much of an issue. He's here, isn't he? I don't know. Well, monsters sure are. Hello, Soph. Good to see you. No doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good boy. You mind taking the lead? Hi, right, Drakian. For two thousand. <laughs> Enough for her standard course twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. Cloud? Uh, uh, forget it. You guys need to focus. Wasn't all that long ago that this place was a working Mithra mine. Y'all know about Mithra, right? Hmm. Not any thing specific, no. It's pretty tough. And beautiful, besides. Right on both counts. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. Never been found outside of these caves, in fact. And I ought to know. Worked in a mine myself back in the day. Hard not to learn about the life when you live in it. Should we pick up a few souvenirs then? Hmm, we could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. Even got that signature mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with materia, too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra <laughs> expert. I want to know if we've got a fast travel here, because if we have, there's a few more things I want to do. We have. We've unlocked the fast travel now. Oh, did we get any more beast bones? I wonder. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we still need two more. Maybe we'll get some from the mines, eh? Okay, folks. Well, we have now entered the Mithril Mines. What to do? And, as you can expect from this being a remade version, the Mithril Mines has been expanded upon quite greatly from the original game. It's a, yeah, it's a lot more expansive. But I'm going to leave the stream there for today. Um, well, for now. I do want to stream later this evening. So give it about half an hour. And I'm going to schedule the next stream so you can see what time that'll be. I'll only be going for about an hour this evening because I've got to pop out. Pick one of the kids up from their group as well. But stay on stream right now, because once this is finished, if YouTube does its job, it should kick you over to Dark Swordsman, where he's also going to be playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, so you can stay in on the action. But thank you so much to everybody that's joined me today. Thank you to Iman as well for your support of the channel, and to everybody whose names on the credits just rolled up. Really appreciate the kindness. And to everybody that's just stopped by, chatted, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. So I will be seeing you again later if you can make it. And if not, I'll make sure to stream tomorrow as well so we can really start making progress in this one. Take care, everybody. Mithril Minds later. Look forward to it. See you then.